Oh, hello. My dad loved Christmas when we were young. But I don't really know whether I loved it or not. You see, I was difficult to buy for. They never knew what to get me. My brothers knew. More than likely, my elder brother wanted money. My next brother down. He probably wanted some electronic kit. Um, but when it came to me, they didn't know. And I even remember my mother going into London to Hamley's. To Hamley's. To look round there, and she came back with a wooden toy where you slot it together and build like a, a wooden and log cabin. I don't know really I ever made anything worthwhile with it. It would have been good for my brother. He went on to build a log cabin. And another thing they brought me was a... It wasn't Lego. It would have been better if it was Lego. But we had to be different. I was given something called Better Builder, and it was actual tiny little bricks, and you had to stick them together. And I remember that the cement ran out, and then we went and used uh, flour, glue, flour, flour made of glue, made of flour, and of course all the walls went mouldy. I never got round to building a decent house with that either. Um, I would start with good intentions, but couldn't even imagine what the end product would be. <laughs> On another occasion, I was given um, some old army dinky toys, but they were like army. There was a low-loading trailer for a tank. I couldn't make out what, what this was all about. Later on, I heard that they were from my uncle. They bought them off my uncle because my uncle didn't want them anymore, and they they come to me. I, uh, all these toys seemed a little bit vocational. Now, if I could tell them now what I wanted, I could, I could easily now, what they should have given me then. They could have given me, well, proper Lego would have been a start, because then you could talk about it at school and see what other kids have been making. That would have been a start. But what about the Brightax farm toys? You know, those little toys, and they were like a, a hay turner, a tractor with a hay turner, or one with a loader on the front. Or, and you could, you could have fields, you could make little uh, white fields, things like that. I think I might have liked that. Or a seed propagator. Yeah, that would have got me going. But I didn't know anything. I didn't know. I did not know anything. I was not particularly lucid. Um, I didn't know what I wanted or what I didn't want. Um, what else could they have given me? Now, this would have been the thing. My dad had come in and said, John, we've bought you a racing bicycle with five derailleur gears. Oh, Dad, that's wonderful. That's just fantastic. That's what I would have told him. So I could say down the, if I had a, an almanac, I could pick it up and shout at it, Dad, Dad, buy me a bike. But would it work? I don't know. Can I shout back through time? I don't think so. But I didn't have a bike. Well, I did have a bike. We used to call it the banger. And it was one of these sit up and beg things that that somebody had found, handed it into the police, and the, it hadn't been claimed. So we got it back. And it was dreadful. It had caliper brakes that went onto the rims when it was the old style tyres where it needed to go onto the underneath of the thing, you know, the underneath of the rim. So, so the brake blocks would always wear thin in the middle. And, oh, it was dreadful. It was a dreadful bike. And it was a woman's, a woman's bike. I sit up and beg. No gears. That's what I had to ride around in. But 
He wasn't going to buy me a bicycle unless I passed my 11 plus, which of course I didn't. But how could I? I, wasn't, I was barely lucid. So, in a way, the whole other thing was about denial, delayed gratification, we call it nowadays, don't we? If you do such and such, you'll get this. If you do something else, you'll get the other. I think it was wasted on me. But my dad loved Christmas. He would get his gadgets out. He would have all the women round him cooking the food. He was the patriarch. He loved Christmas. 